Hey, what's up guys? Tony Teaches Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own personal Minecraft multiplayer server. We're going to use something called Volter. It's one of my favorite cloud VPS hosting providers. Super cheap, and best part of all is I got some free account credit for you guys to try out the platform. Referral code down below, check it out, and let's get into the tutorial. So right here I have Volter.com pulled up. I'm going to go into my account. You guys will have to sign up for an account, but once you do, in here on your dashboard, click on the Deploy New Server button. And the server type that we want is Cloud Compute, so that's fine. The server location, you're going to want to pick the server that's closest to you. For me, because I'm in Bali, Indonesia, I'm going to pick Singapore. Now under here, there is an application tab. We want to pick the Minecraft, and as you can see, it's going to install on Ubuntu 18.04. For starters, let's try out the $5 per month plan, which gives you 25 gigabyte SSD hard drive, one CPU core, one gigabyte of RAM, and one terabyte of bandwidth transfer. We'll see if that's sufficient for Minecraft multiplayer play, but um, if you need to, you can go to a higher plan. Okay, so this looks good. Let's just name this to be Minecraft and deploy the server. So this, this part of the tutorial takes about 90 seconds for the server to go from you know not existing to actually running an Ubuntu operating system to actually running the Minecraft app, server app. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for now. I'll catch up with you on the other side when that's finished. Okay, here we go. We got the server up and running. You can see that here. Let's click on this manage button and you'll see all the login information for your server. What we're gonna do is log in as root, and just because I've done this a few times, um, I know that Minecraft is not running at this point, so you gotta be patient about that, but we'll check and monitor the progress of that. So um, we're gonna use something called SSH in a program on Mac called Terminal. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can use Terminal. If you're on Windows, you have to download PuTTY to do this step. Uh, what you're gonna do once you have that is type in SSH root, at the IP address. So we'll copy that IP address and paste it in there and click enter. It's asking you if this trust, this host can be trusted. Click yes and we'll copy the password on the dashboard here and paste it in. Now when that finishes, there we go. Uh, we are now logged into our Singapore server in my case or whatever server you're, you chose. Um, what we can do is see and look at and monitor the progress of the Minecraft server. So you can do that with the screen dash R command. And here, this is just the server, the Minecraft server spitting out whatever it's doing in the background. And um, up to this point, it has loaded 825 advancements, uh, six recipes before that. And there's another step in this this process of the, the Minecraft server starting up for the first time that it has to go through. Like I said, I've been this, through this experience a couple times, so it's not ready just yet, but we can monitor the progress of it. So let's just um, push this off to the side. We're gonna need the IP address again, so we'll copy that and open up the Minecraft app. And there we go. So this looks good. Uh, let's just put that up there. And we're not ready just yet, because this hasn't finished, but we can start inputting the information into the Minecraft app for the server. So go ahead and click on multiplayer. It's not gonna find any games on my network. Um, we can add a server. Uh, we'll name it Minecraft Server Volter, and we'll type in the IP address, or I guess paste it in this case. And we can hit done, it's gonna fail. It's gonna ping it, it's gonna fail. See over here, like I said, the server has not, the Minecraft server has not finished installing. We have to wait for this to get from 0% to 100%. When that's done, we can come back in here, refresh it, and we'll be good to go. So again, I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back with you shortly. All right, guys, we are back and the spawn area has been finished, prepared, and we're ready to go. So we can go back over here to the Minecraft app and just refresh this and you'll see that we're good to go. So um, we got the green bars, 32, I guess this is 32 millisecond um, time, delay time. Let's uh, click on this and join the server. And as things happen, you can see over here, um, well, I have to hit escape. But you can see over here that we're getting some input information logged to the screen. So back to the game, 
let's uh, walk around and I'm not going to play the game for you guys but I just want to show you that um, you do see that we're 43 ticks behind right so maybe this plan isn't sufficient for um, uh, multiplayer server mode uh, but if this is something that you can live with I mean I don't see any significant lag then I think you're good to go but uh, once this guy dies which should happen pretty soon I just want to show you that the information from the game is being logged to the server in real time. So we're almost there. And you get, see, we got another lag um, message over here. Can't keep up as the server overloaded. We're 43 ticks behind, 476 ticks behind. And there we go. So right there, this is what I wanted to shoot that um, my user has drowned. And this, this is kind of cool that you can see what's going on in the back end. Um, what I recommend at this point is to, you know what, let's test it out right now. Let's, just because it is so easy to set up a server with Volter, let's, uh, let's test, up the, test out the next highest plan. So we can do that, deploy a new server, let's pick Singapore again, application, Minecraft, $10 a month and deploy it now so this is going to take another 90 seconds but i will catch up with you guys when it's running and we're when ready when we're ready to uh, log in again all right guys so we got the next server stood up and you can see that uh, we didn't talk about this it's still one core two gigabytes of ram let's log in via ssh so we'll open up a new tab here do ssh root at that ip address and paste it in. Uh, yes, that's fine. And we'll type in the password, more like copy and paste it. And drum roll, please. There we go. We're in. So we can do the screen dash R to see where we are in the installation process of the Minecraft server. Still loading. Um, don't want to make you guys sit through that. Let's pause and be right back. Okay, I'm back and you can see that the spawn area has been prepared. We're not getting any lag messages so far. Um, let's open up the game console again. We'll go to the title screen. Yes, um, go into multiplayer again. This is fine as to keep here. Let's add a new server, Minecraft server Volter 2. And we'll paste in the IP address, uh, which matches up. Yep, okay, done. It's ready to go. So uh, let's join Minecraft server Volter 2. And logging us in, encrypting, joining world, there we go. So, um, whoops, uh, how do we get out of here? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so um, we're running around the world. Panda slash Two-Face has joined the game. We're not seeing any lag messages yet, which is good. And this... I mean, we're not we're not really putting it to the test here, but I guess just in general, this is how you guys um, can figure out if the server is fast enough for you, if it's um, not lagging, if the lagging is acceptable for you, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, I I think uh, I think I'm happy with this. So if you guys have any questions about running a Minecraft server on Volter, let me know in the comments below and. Um, the, like I said, the cool thing about this whole, like, running a, a Minecraft server on Volter is the fact that you can try it out for free without actually paying. So there's, at times, up to $100 of account credit that you guys can get if you use my referral code below. So um, I want to thank you in advance if you guys do choose to do that. It really helps me out with making these videos. This channel is more, more so about making... Um, uh, businesses, online, SEO, WordPress websites, all that stuff. But I figured I'd do something fun like this. I'm not much of a gamer, but um, just something cool that you can you can use this, this infrastructure that's already existing to uh, set up a Minecraft server. So like I said, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.